Has a housing recession already happened? Well, we're going to talk about that today. Uh, on the screen behind me is a Wall Street Journal's article talking about how they're expecting investment in real estate to actually grow in the third quarter rather than retract, which it has done for a few quarters. Uh, so they're predicting that the recession is over. And I will say the doomsayers are going to be very disappointed when they look at the numbers of our local market. We're going to get into that in just a moment. Hi, I'm Tony Meyer with Windermere Real Estate. For 34 years, I've been an avid study of the real estate market. We're going to distill that information down into actionable intel you can use to make a real estate decision. But before I do, I'm going to remind you to hit the like button down below. That helps YouTube know this video is valuable and gets it out to others who may have, have the similar interests as yourself. Uh, so we're going to talk about rates for sale and pending, months of inventory, and median sales price. First up is interest rates. Well, today marks the highest rate the Fed has been at. They raised the rates to 5.5 on the target fund. It's the highest rate in 22 years. What has the mortgage market done? Well, basically you said, we've already got that covered. It's at 6.96. And so what's happening is the margin between the federal funds target rate and what lenders are charging is starting to decrease because lenders kind of think that we're at the end of this route with the, the feds. And so they're not needing to charge or mark up the mortgages as much. Uh, we are, of course, up from where we were a year ago. We were sitting about 5.5. Uh, but considering we've had, we're have we up almost a percent and a half, the market is doing dramatically well, as we'll see when we get into the further numbers here. So homes for sale, we took a slight tick up. We're more importantly down 44% from 20, 2022. So really the biggest issue for buyers is there's just not a ton of choices. And that is really supporting prices on our marketplace. Uh, those who'd hope that abundance of inventory would flood has just not happened. Again, proving the doomsayers wrong. Pending sales remain strong. We're up 16% from last week and more importantly, up 27% from one year ago. So uh, market is dramatically different. Next up is months of inventory. So a year ago, we really kind of tanked. I mean, we were down to two tenths of a month of inventory in parts of early 2022. This week, last year, we were 2.47 months of inventory. That is a balanced market and clearly a market that wasn't moving in the direction that many sellers hoped it would. As of this point, we were 1.26 last week, 1.1 this week, tightening up nicely, still been pretty consistent this year, about a month of inventory, and that has kept the sellers in the driver's seat in our marketplace. Uh, median price, well, this marks the third week out of the last four that our median price exceeds what it was last year. So we are up a 5% from last week, up 21% from 2022. And this is really the, uh, again, bad news for the doomsayers because the prices earlier this year had consistently been below where they were spring of 2022. But we really have turned the corner over that over the last couple months here and kind of flattened that out and now are starting to exceed that. So. If you look at our local marketplace, yeah, the housing recession is already passed at this point. So if you've got questions about the market, we're here to help. Really appreciate it if you'd hit the like button down below, subscribe, leave us a question or a comment down below. Hopefully you found this video of interest and you share it with your friends. If you uh, wanna be in touch with our future updates, make sure you subscribe and we'll talk with you again next week. Take care.